Welcome to my lecture online. One of the most important equations in all of algebra is this equation right here. y is equal to mx plus b. And if you're not familiar with the equation, y is representative of the vertical axis in an xy plane, x is representative of the horizontal axis, b here is what we call the y-intercept, it's where the straight line crosses the y-axis, and m is the slope of the line, it's the relationship between the rise and the run, or the ratio of the rise divided by the run. And if you're not familiar with it, there'll be many, many videos talking about that particular equation and what to do with it. But in this case, all we need to learn to do here is to solve that equation for the variable m. So we're going to go ahead and go through the same procedures before. First of all, there's no fractions or decimals or parentheses, so we can skip step number zero. But on the first step, we want to move all the terms with m to one side and all the other terms to the other side. Or we can simply flip the equation around, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to write this as mx plus b is equal to y. Notice when I flip the equation around, I don't want to change any of the signs. The next thing I want to do is move the b to the other side because I want to have the x's on one side and everything else on the other side. So in this case, we end up with mx, or I should say all the m's on the left side. We don't care about the x's. All the m's on the left side, everything else on the right side. So this becomes y minus b. When I cross the equal sign, I change the sign of b. And finally, since x is the factor of m in this case, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by x. The x's cancel out on the left side. I end up with m is equal to y minus b divided by x. And so what I have now is I have the slope m in terms of everything else in the equation. And that is how it's done.